Hello and welcome back to Mega Reacts. Today we're going to be watching Babylon 5 Season 4 Episode 13. Last episode. If you don't have anything nice to say, it's best not to say anything at all. So this is going to be brief. It was a Garibaldi specific episode. Uh, he's probably going to Mars it looks like. And Jakar and Londo may or may not be helping Sheridan patrol and keep things safe on certain borders. And that's about it. I'm being nice. I did not particularly like last episode. I didn't out outright hate it. I didn't want to burn my computer and, and turn it off. I didn't want to not watch the episode. I was fine watching it. But honestly, it was pretty mediocre, and that's nice about it. So yeah, let's let's just move on from that little hiccup in season four. Uh, so yeah, let's just get into episode 13. But before we do, come on this journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. Mega, let's get into it. What are you doing, Captain? Good morning, Captain. <laughs> Top of the morning, Captain. What? What are you mummering? Captain? Being weird, dude. Good morning. You're being weird. Captain, Ivanova tells me you convinced Londa and Jakar to go along with your idea by putting white star oh, nice. ships along nice. their borders. So they actually the agreed. Force. Bow of silence? Maybe we shouldn't. I agree. What in the hell is going on with my man? <laughs> what am I missing here? Share with the rest what are of all of us missing here? Huh? Uh, no, 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 no. That's it! I got it! Ha! It'll work. If we try to talk the other races into letting our ships operate along their borders, it's going to be nothing but grief. Hell, it took months to pull them together the last time, and that was with the shadows breathing down their necks. There's an easier way to convince them. And how do we do that? By not convincing them. <laughs> Listen, Marcus, after you've finished your breakfast, I want you to take three white stars out to Sector 87 and wait for orders. Putin is GD mind. Just checking. Yeah, what was he drinking? <laughs> Rumors, bargains, and lies. He looks so concerned. And I get it, though. When I was a child, my father used to carry me through the city on his shoulders. Hmm. I remember. You told us. I've never seen such beauty. <laughs> Religious number one. <laughs> the city was eternal. Religious number two. His beauty is eternal. We heard of the Great Council, but the name was always spoken with awe and reverence. They held our world together. They were the peace. And you broke them apart. Everyone. You broke them apart. A thousand years of peace. You have guilt about that? Among the three castes. I think of my beautiful city in flames, Lydia. And you burned crystal? The streets where I walked. Great crystal spires that sighed music whenever the wind touched them. But I wonder, did I do this when I broke the Great Council? In a little bit. Phelan always said the Council would be broken in the Great Shadow War. We have to stop this, Lanier. If the fighting spreads beyond the capital, a thousand years of peace will become a thousand years of war. Did you contact Naroon? Yes. Naroon, my man! Whether or not he will be there when we arrive, I do not know. Captain, I'm not entirely sure I understand. When you asked me to allow your ships to operate on the border of Centauri space, you said you were going to use it to inspire the rest of the League to do the same, hmm? That's right. And now you don't, you don't want me to even talk about it? That's right, and if anyone brings it up, I want you to deny it. Deny it? That's right. So they'll be jealous. But you, you want to keep the patrols <laughs> in place, yes? Absolutely. They're going to think, oh, they the must know thing. something we don't. <laughs> Captain, 
You will forgive me if I appear a bit slow. I have studied your race quite a bit, and there are still several aspects of your psychology I don't understand. Something called country and western. And the less said <laughs> about the comedy team of Rebo and Zuti, the better. However, you don't like Rebo and Zuti? I don't know who that is. <laughs> they're hysterical. Yes, and they're not I'm real. Sorry. I apparently mistook you for a human with some taste and sensibility. Trust me. Zuti, zoot zoot. <laughs> That's going to be my new thing. A zoot zoot. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> I love it. You can I love? I love these shoots. Love the Minbar tech. There is my man, Narun. Yeah. Your war cast, son of a bitch. Hello, Narun. Dylan. I was surprised to receive your message. I considered not responding, but then I enjoy a mystery as much as anyone. All right, Dylan. What is it? I need your help, Naruna. My help? I remind you that not very long ago, I fought to keep you from taking control of the Rangers. We have not exactly been friends. But your actions have always been motivated by one desire, to do what is right for our people. Yes. Yes, he is not an evil man. The warrior caste cannot be allowed to win this war. The religious caste cannot be allowed to win. You know as well as I that if either side achieves dominance, the delicate balance of our civilization will be destroyed. No one <laughs> no one gives two shit about the working class, the labor class, right? <laughs> this is between spiritual and war. All those people cooking our food and uh, cleaning our houses, <laughs> building our shit. Ah, we don't really care about them. It's between us, right? They need to rise. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> You'll see. I've questioned your judgment, your wisdom, your temperament, but never your loyalty. Never. Was that a compliment? <laughs> a little bit. Your fashion. Dylan, I am as horrified by what is happening back home as you are. But we are two against a world gone mad. What can we do against that? Nothing until we get their attention. I like, they may turn against I like this team That's up. True. And I risk the same by working with you. Yes. We both risk well, a lot. It's a challenge, and I have always liked challenges. Some of our ships returning from a trading expedition to Centauri Prime have reported seeing several of your white star ships patrolling the borders of Centauri space. Have they? Did you put them there, or did the Centauri ask for them? I don't really think it's my place to comment. Then they asked for the ships. I can't confirm that. But you're not denying it either. Are you with me so far? Yes, of I'm not sure. Ambassador, <laughs> there are so many things in the universe There's that are, and so many things that aren't. Well, I gotta go. I can't say any more. Now, if you would please excuse me. Is is gonna work? It's gonna work. Now the rumor mill. <laughs> this may be more serious than we thought. There's no question they're hiding something from us. We're gonna track you down one at a time, but since you're all in one place. I'm sorry, Doctor. We're in the middle of something here. <laughs> yes, I can see that, but this won't take but a moment. Uh, I was wondering if your governments can send us some additional blood supplies for each of your races. Much as you can spare. Why? Oh, no particular reason. <laughs> I, just, uh, I just thought it would be a good idea in case we needed it. For uh, this is fun. Well, in the event of a crisis. Yeah, you know, a crisis. An attack. <clears throat> yeah. What, what kind of well, I'm in a hurry. I'm in the middle of something, but I will send your governments a formal request later on today. I just wanted to let you know that it was coming. This is very bad. Come on. Believe that Delenn would allow this. It confirms everything we have been hearing. Why else would Delenn come this far and want Naroon to be here? Why else would she return to Minbar with a warrior at her Why side? Why don't you ask her? You saw how she deferred to him. Why else would she behave this way unless she intended for us to surrender? I saw Delenn when Dukat was alive. I know her heart. She would never do what you describe. 
Good man. To fight against the warrior caste, that is one thing, but to strike down one of our own. One who led the Grey Council, the chosen of Ducat. It would tear our caste apart and guarantee our loss to the warriors. There is another way. But it will mean sacrificing all we have and all we will ever be. What? We will lay down our lives for our caste. Oh, history will not even remember us. They will only wonder what happened to this ship and why it never reached home. Oh, you're gonna blow it up? But it must be done. For the good of everyone. Oh, you're crazy. This ship cannot be allowed to reach home. You're crazy. You're crazy, dude. Religious zealot. I siphoned it directly from the fuel system. Once released into the air processing system, it will poison the atmosphere within minutes. After we are no more, the ship will continue to drift further into hyperspace until we cannot be found. The ship will become a monument to our caste and to our willingness to do all that we can to protect our people. Dude, you flip quick. Put this into position and await your signal. Come on, Lanier. Figure this shit out. Um, sir, are you going to, uh, stay, or...? No, 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 no. I, um, I just stopped by to ask you to, uh, plan a story for me. Excuse me? Captain, with all due respect, we can't just start planting stories now. I mean, we've made a big deal out of the fact that, unlike ISN, we're putting yeah, out the truth. exactly. If we become a propaganda machine... It's... That's the last thing I want. Really? Sounds like you're... I just want you to mention that nothing happened today in Sector 83 by 9 by 12. One brief announcement. Nothing happened. I just wanted to mention for <laughs> sector nine one eight seven two. Absolutely nothing whatsoever happened today in sector eighty three by nine by twelve. I repeat, nothing happened. Please remain calm. Something must have happened. We go and scanned, and we found there was residue of Did fires. You hear? Yes. And I just learned of an attack by three white star ships. What did they attack? We do not know. Our scanners could not pick up anything in the area. Only asteroids, debris. But we have a right to the same protection as the Centauri. We cannot tolerate this kind of discrimination. We demand you have your ship patrol danger. our area. <laughs> Invisible enemies. Oh my God. Strange things happening in Sector 83. We're almost home. Just a little longer and we will see if Delenn knows what she is doing. End. Bring her to me. I have questions which require answers. Oh! Oh! Warrior cast going rogue. Spiritual cast going rogue. The alarm, do you think they know? No, I don't think so. Is everything in place? I set the timer as soon as the alarm sounded. In a matter of moments, it will all be over. I'm glad you're here. I need you to keep an eye on the other warriors that are aboard. Naroon was attacked because some of them believed that the warrior caste is going to surrender to us. They would do anything necessary to prevent that. Then we're there, not going to surrender? No, don't be foolish. If either side surrenders to the other, there will be chaos. Our entire culture would fall apart. There are other ways, more reasonable ways. But the extremists among us never see that. They would rather be martyrs. To misinformation. Yes. Old ways. Yeah. Yeah. You're the extremists. Yeah. Keep an eye on them. Incredible. Only the warrior cast could actually turn on one of their own. They have always been erratic. But you. You are the steady rock beneath my feet. Thank you. Feel that shame. Feel that shame. Raiders. Lanier got the got the chemical agent, right? Your whatever the hell it is. It's too late. Yeah, my man. You're the man, Lanier. You're the man. Don't die. so far that we cannot even trust ourselves. 
Yes, we have. Yes, we have, Lanier. Absolute chaos. Shadows would be proud. In the time that we have known each other, Delenn, I have not always spoken well of you. I assumed your behavior was prompted by a sense of your own superiority, your ego, the usual fanaticism we've come <laughs> to expect from the religious caste. Indeed. In the last year, I've begun to realize that I was wrong. Ducat chose you above all to follow him. Slowly, dimly, I begin to understand why. I do not know what lies ahead of us till then. But I do know it is right that we are here together. Is that a compliment, Nero? <laughs> <laughs> After a fashion. Nice. What can we draw? Wonderful callback. It's been a hectic day. Anything in particular, Captain? No, oh, no, no. Just the usual. Of course. Now, what is it you wanted to see me about? You have an obligation to help us protect our borders until we can rebuild our fleets. You're talking about the White Star Fleet. We are. There's nothing I can do. They're busy. Doing what? <laughs> I, I can't tell you. Such a manipulator. If you cannot tell us, then it must not be very important. We will provide them with full authority. You cannot hide behind that guy. I see. But what if I need them for a larger mission? Then we will accompany them so that we may show our own support for whatever it is you choose to do. The League has spoken. The League we will bring has the White spoken. Star into the League of Non Aligned Worlds. In return, the League will support any action taken by the fleet. All right. I guess you're right. I don't have a whole lot of choice in this. I'll have the diplomatic papers and treaties drawn up this afternoon and delivered to each of you by the end of the day. Good. You may go now. Oh, I may go now. Thank you so much. As I walk off, giving the camera a slight smile as I walk out of the room. Come on, give me that smile. Give me that smile. Turn, camera, smile. Yes! That's even better. Okay. <laughs> I needed that payoff. I needed that payoff. See to it that he's made comfortable. His actions have honored all of us. Why? I should sleep now. It was the shame she would feel. I'm very tired. Of her Please. cast. We need willing to, know. to do that. You could have told her the whole truth. No one here would have blamed you. Broke her heart. But you didn't. If I had told her the whole truth. It would have destroyed her belief yes. in the strength and the wisdom of our cast. Yes. Thank you, Linnea. Do not thank me. I did it for her. I did not do it for you. In future, I would suggest you try to see the world through her eyes sometime. It might lead you to make fewer fatal mistakes. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> Voice of the Resistance! This is Commander Susan Ivanova, Babylon 5, bringing you the Voice of the Resistance. Don't you betray us, Rune. I believe in you. Message from Alit Narun to Shakiri, Shai Alit of the Warrior Cast. The mission has been successful. I have access to their plans to counterattack our forces in the capital city. They can be stopped and stopped easily. The religious caste is divided and their support is weak. It is as you said, Shakiri. They do not have the stomach for a prolonged conflict. Tell our ships to stand by. Victory will be ours within the week. Arun! Son of a bitch! He doesn't have a little invisible thing on his damn shoulder. Ugh, I'll be right back with you. That was Babylon 5 Season 4 Episode 13. I really enjoyed that episode. It felt like two great A-plots, to be honest. We have Sheridan doing the whole rope-a-dope to get the non-aligned world to let him 
control and have access and rights to do whatever he needs to really do. And his manipulation, beautifully done. Beautifully, beautifully, beautifully done. Beautiful. I shake my cable. I thought I shook my table. It was beautifully done is what I'm trying to say without getting too excited. It was funny and clever and a joy to watch. I do regret we did not get Jakar and see the Narns interact with this. I wanted to see Jakar. We have not had nearly enough Jakar since the end of the whole Shadow War. He has not been in nearly enough of the show. Jakar, you need to show back up maybe next episode. And then we have the other plot, which is the religious cast, the warrior cast, Narun, the Lin coming together to try to find a peaceful way to resolve this great conflict. And it's working with those two, but the warrior cast is starting to betray Narun. The spiritual cast is going to betray the Lin, everyone on the ship, but Lanier, MVP, fixes it and doesn't even rat him out because he doesn't want her to lose faith. And I'm like, okay, I like Naroon. He is someone I've always trusted to do what he thought was right for his people. Even if I did not agree with what he was doing, I like Delin always thought he was honorable in doing what he thought was right. And maybe that's what he's doing now, what he thinks is right. And by that, I mean, at the end of the episode, he left the ship. He's saying we can kill these mofos. They ain't got what it takes for a long war and we're going to win. I know what they're going to do. It's all good. And maybe, maybe he was playing Delin. Maybe he was playing me. And he thinks this is what is right for the warrior cast to rule Mimbar. He is still doing what he thinks is right. Now, maybe this is some prolonged plan. We didn't see them plan out. I doubt it. I do think he is doing what the warrior cast does. And that kind of sucks because I was kind of bamboozled. I was bamboozled a little bit. But yeah, this is such a fun episode. Such a great episode for building the world and setting up what is to come. Unlike some other episode I've recently watched. And <laughs> I absolutely loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Hopefully you loved my reaction. If you did, continue to come on the journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega signing off.